What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of What's Hot. We have Rich here. What's going on, guys? So I guess we'll dive right in. I guess we can start off with some hunting stuff. Um, everybody knows September 1st, this upcoming week, is the opening day of dove season. So we have a few um, must-haves for your dove spread. Um, we have the Greenhead Gear uh, doves here. They are super realistic paint schemes. They look just like an actual dove. If you shot one, that's what it would look like. Uh, they have clips on the bottom. You can clip them tree branches, everything like that. You can also, they have these little holes in the top where you can tie um, some clear monofilament, some um, string, and um, throw them over a tree branch and let them hang or uh, telephone poles or anything you have that um, you can hang them from so you can get a whole different variety of Decoy spread. Decoy spread, yeah. yeah. I mean, again, you come two to a pack with those, too, which is kind of nice. Yeah. So, I mean, they're relatively inexpensive. You can load up on them, make a nice spread, bring oh, those yeah. doves in close. What another, else we got? Another thing we got are the Dove Flickers. These are great to add movement to your spread, so they actually time. So you have little, they take uh, triple A's, or double A's, I'm sorry. Uh, they have a little button on the bottom. They are actually timed, so they go on and off. And you spread those out in the spread amongst yep. your decoys to kind of give you some motion, so right? when they're flying by, they'll see the mo motion and hopefully come in and you can take them. Um, so they come in a pack of four. They're pretty awesome. Uh, really cool little small compact pieces. They can come off so you don't bust the plastic um, uh, wings here. Easy yeah. storage foam in your five-gallon bucket, right? Yep. You're, you can have a Yeti bucket, which there are great, go. phenomenal um, yeah. dove seats. So those are pretty sweet. We also have the standard um, Mojo Wind Dove. These are a good, um, cheaper option for you for some motion if the wind is blowing. These are fantastic. We also have the um, Mojo Elite Series Dove. Now those are very awesome. Everybody loves um, Mojo Doves. It's a staple for a dove hunter. Now these are fairly newer with their Elite Series. They're um, a lot better quality and um, better components, and they just look a lot more realistic than the standard Mojo Dove. So these are going to be hot as well. Um, and I've been stocking up on some stuff. I don't do a lot of hunting, but I'm looking forward to doing oh, some Oh yeah, we're going to blast some Dove this year. Pretty cool, yeah, absolutely. So those are some good ones you want to get ready for this upcoming week. Absolutely. What else do we have? Well, also on September 1st, rockfish season opens back up. So we've been mm -hmm. shut down for two weeks. It's been a little painful for some of us. It's been a long two stripers. weeks. It's been a long two weeks. So we're finally getting ready to get back out there. Um, it's time to start stocking back up on things that you lost at the end of the, the uh, mm -hmm. open season before. So we got a couple of new things in the shop for us. We've just got in some brand new lose reels to us. Um, Full spread of them. Yeah, I got a couple different sizes. We do have a Super Duty. It's kind of a 300 size reel that would be good for sea bass flounder as yes. well as some of your larger lines for cobia and, and yep. uh, striper. Even and, has a. Yeah, it's got a clicker on it. Clicker. If you're doing any kind of like live lining with it, if you want to pitch some baits, get some audible to it, which is nice. Yep. A couple of snazzy looking colors. These will also do really well for you snakehead guys that like to throw a uh, conventional. Um, so definitely come in and check those out. They'll be in the real case waiting for you. Uh, along with the freshwater side, we've got some new um, Eagle Claw wacky rigs. We got the rubber bands, and then we also have some new wacky harnesses as well. Those are uh, awesome. That's one of my favorite yeah. way to, if Roger was here, he would say that is fantastic because yeah. we love to wacky rig or Ned rig. Um, those are our two favorite presentations for bass. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. We finally got the wacky rig O-rings in great for your Sankos. Yeah, um, super easy to rig, super oh, yeah. effective. Any bass fisherman knows that that's the way to go. Mm -hmm. uh, got some fresh colors in on the Hopkins spoon. So this is a nice flat flutter style spoon. There's a lot on the market that are like this. These are pretty cool. They're, uh, they're a couple of different sizes, some really cool color mm -hmm. patterns. Most of them are a metallic finish, so they're nice and shiny. Um, and you can use these for Spanish Max. You can use them for stripers, bluefish, pretty much anything that swims in the bay or even off the beach. Best part? They come with a single hook. Single Everybody hook. Everybody loves those single hooks. Um, less um, fouling for when you cast. It helps the fish, so it's just a single hook, and so you don't get hooked in the hand. Yeah, it's a lot easier to get them out of the fish's mouth when there's just one. Every time. Yep, absolutely. Uh, so we also have some new bucktails from uh, Marathon. Just your basic kind of bucktail. Yep. Ruby but bucktails, lip style. fantastic bait. Old school. Our grandfathers used them. They never stopped working. They never right? Yep. You can put gulp on the end. You, you can, can put bait on the end. Otter you can put tails. Whatever. Yeah, otter tails work well on them. Um, got some other weedless jig heads that we got in from Eagle Claw as well. So that's a nice little bait. And something new to us here, we're going to start carrying Momoe. For oh, you yeah. offshore guys, you probably know the name. Uh, Momoe is a line company. They make a fantastic mono. They make fantastic Very. braid. So we're going to start carrying the 8-strand uh, Gen 3 braid. 
um, in orange. It's kind of a new color for us. We haven't yeah. had an orange braid. So now we uh, have the rainbow in colors for lines. We have the blues, greens, yellows, oranges, um, camos. We have everything. We have you covered for we, match your setups. We do. That's right. Falls around the corner. It's a nice Hall fall color. Yep, right? Halloween. That's yep. right. Exactly. Uh, we're also carrying the Mamoe Diamond Mono. Uh, mostly in heavier sizes, again, geared towards your offshore guys. Mm -hmm. Momoe Diamond, very strong line, slightly thicker in diameter than your standard monos, but it's going to break at a much higher strength. So it's one of the most preferred lines for offshore guys. And that sweet, brilliant blue color. Beautiful color. Yeah. It just pops when you put them on reels. It's it looks awesome. beautiful on every reel, and when you're offshore fishing, it helps blend in with that blue water. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a really, really nice line. We're also carrying some of the Momoe Outrigger kits. We've got some black, we've got some chartreuse. If you need to redo your outriggers, um, the kits come with the sleeves, which is nice. You don't have to worry about buying the different components. And when you do need to crimp some line, we've got some of the new Momoe crimpers. Those this are... is this is the swagger that I use. It's it's a CN10. There's a lot of CN10s on the market. Me personally, I've been using this for quite a few years now. I do a ton of rigging, both offshore and for the bay. Um, throughout my career, I've done an insane amount of crimping. This crimper has not failed me yet. You um, really, you've explained that to me numerous times, and. I've, when I've crimped with those, I've really seen a difference. It, they are it, they yeah. are great. They, they just hold up well, they crimp well, it does a nice job. Um, along with that, we have some of the Momoe sleeves. They're an aluminum sleeve, so they're gonna crimp a little bit easier than your copper sleeves, aluminum being a little bit softer metal, but they hold really, really yes. well. And the beauty to these, consistency in the wall thickness and sizing. Yes. So you don't have to worry about with cheap sleeves, Sometimes you pull one out and it works great. You pull out the next one out of the pack and it's kind of, eh, why isn't this crimping like the last one? You get consistency with these, which I really like. So you, you pay I've a premium, but you get a premium product, yes. which is nice. So oh, very nice. Other things that are new, we're starting to put together some more nicer combos, especially for cobia. Oh yes. We're hoping that we get into some good cobia soon. Um, this would also make for a great wreck fishing rig. Or yes. if you want to throw some, you know, some mahi or some- uh, Great mahi bailing rod. Small, even jigging for small tuna. So we're putting together a couple of these combos. We've got a couple of different reel and rod combinations that we're gonna have together. This one's in Maxwell Ocean Max. Uh, pa pa paired up with the Ben Battle 3. It's the new Battle 3 we color about. matching. Gold and black trim. Oh, um, yeah. Has a rubber gimbal on the uh, um, the bottom, yep. nice EVA foam um, grip here. Well, there. and let's talk about this butt. Look at the length of this butt. It's When you're jigging with this, it works out perfect because I can tuck that under my arm mm -hmm. and I can get really good leverage if I'm working that bait really good, which is nice, especially with your bigger fish like amberjacks if you're going down south. Oh, yeah. Tuna, if you want to catch some small tuna or even some decent sized mahi, this rod's going to help you fight them a lot better, give you mm -hmm. better leverage, which is nice. And we have it paired up with a, we just put it on as a combo here, the hardhead custom baits cobia um, jig, great little um, uh, jig here with the nice stout hook, mm -hmm. orange, shiny colors, red tail. It's and that's great. not just a cobia killer. That, oh, you no, could you use could... this in the, you know, going into the, the fall, into the winter, when we start seeing this bigger striper moving back in. Yep. Power plants in the middle of the winter, get thrown oh, yeah. that. It gets down through that faster current really well. That paddle, even, the twister tails moving Even around. drum. Drum, last yeah. big thing, it's been taken off. A lot more people fishing for drum. Um, that'll work great yeah. for drum as well. And offshore, throwing it to mahi and off. So it's a very versatile bait. Yeah. Uh, last but not least, we got the new color of the Yeti coolers. And yes. so this is sagebrush. We've got a bunch of different styles. Uh, we've got the hopper bag, we've got the hoppers here. Uh, yeah, the hard coolers as well. The new Rody 24, which is a fantastic cooler, a little taller than the which other one. Which is because it's a nice seat as well as a cooler. It's a full bottle of wine standing up, which is nice. Plenty oh, of room in there. Watch out. So definitely come in and check these out. Um, I think we also have, I think we forgot to mention a few new rigs we have in stock. Um, we have the uh, legal inline circle hook rig here. Uh, I do believe it's a double um, two in there. Yeah. And then we also have a um, striped bass drift rig, which is nice for if you just want to drift around, put some um, some crab or some LY or anything on that. It has a circle hook as well. And then we also have a new inline circle hook um, shark wire rig. Nice, um, strong, big 13 knot circle hook with a 48 inch um, piece of wire. That's going to be great for your surf fishermen, like the paddle baits out, um, yep. everything like that. So. Yeah, that absolutely. Paddling baits out, or even if you're out on the boat off the beach, it's, mm -hmm. a good, it's a good one to go with. Yep, so. Well, very cool. That's it for this hot uh, this week, but. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll see you next week in another episode of What's Hot. We appreciate you tuning in. We'll see you guys. Good luck out there. Have fun.